My name is Anas Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can write and read a text file. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. With that said, let's get started. So say we want to write to a text document. I created a new one here and we want to write to this. And first, we will um, have a user dialog. So we'll choose a, an input dialog here. And uh, we could say uh, mood manager because this will track my mood. And then um, the label uh, will say how are you, like this. And then we can store the result up in output, so control K, str or input actually will be, like this. Now we stored it, and then we could write it to this text document. So we will find a write um, text file here, drag this guy in. The text to be read, that's the variable up here because that's the user input, so that will just be str input, like this. And where do we want to write it? We could either, if we just uh, specify something here, like this, then it will write to um, the current directory. However, we want to write to this text document, so um, let's um, crack it to you. We can see that this is the default, however, we want to write it to the desktop. We want to write it to this guy here. It says that there, if you want to replace it, yes, thank you. And now we can uh, run it. And uh, how are you? We are OK. Click OK. And now we have essentially uh, written a line here. So that's fine. Uh, that works. Say that we uh, want to like, append lines. We don't want to override. So we want to just append lines here. Then we could. Um, Instead of uh, using this guy, we could comment this out, so disable it. And then we can choose to uh, make an append line here, drag this guy in. Now we will just append lines to this text document. So the text that goes in, that's still the uh, input variable from up here, be the str input. And we still want to write to the um, same text document, which was the new text document here. We can see how this works. How are you? I'm good. And we can see up here that we created a new line. So that's fine. We could even tune it a bit just to um, make it a bit more fun. Let's go up to Expression Editor, say that we want the date as well. This is just gimmick, but uh, it's a good thing to know. Oh. Um, so we can uh, take the Whatever date it is when you input, we want to write it as well here. So this one, and then we could specify what format we want it in. And we want it in maybe month, month, day, day, year, year. It's a good thing to figure out how our date time works here in uipathen.net because we will use that a lot. And we could have a space maybe like this, and we run. So now when we track it, we will uh, track the date as well. So how are you? I'm sad. Like this. And we can see here that we uh, track the date now as well. Well, this was just a gimmick, but a uh, fun thing. Say that we now want to read whatever, whatever is in here. Then we could, uh, first we need to uh, have the variable to, uh, we will need to read a text file. So we need to, uh, read text file, it's here. Then uh, what file we, we want to read? We just want to read this one, this guy up here, like this. And um, we could uh, read it to, uh, we should read it to an output variable, so control K, str, mood, manager, like this. And we could display it in the message box or we could just write out a line, so Right line, but you can choose a message box as well. And then we will just write uh, the output from up here. So the str move manager. Let's try to run the whole workflow and see that we can actually write out the um, text document. How are you? Very good, because now we are almost done. And um, we can go down here in output and we can see that we have written all four lines out. And that's it for today. Have a very good day.